Look, before y'all crucify the boy because of the title, just let me give y'all the story. Let me do my thing. Y'all follow along and get the substance out of the story. This ain't obviously what I'm about to say. It's not going to get nobody locked up. Obviously, you don't seen him in multiple videos, whatever. Y'all know that. Come on, man. They got to catch you with it and not hear about stories about you, you know, giving it um, like giving guns to shorties or whatnot. But I just wanted to get that out the way, man. Y'all definitely drop a like for the boy. And yeah, man, sit back and, um, you know, just go into the, to the mind of who I was during this time. And then just see like how I looked at these niggas and you know, kind of why I became who I am today. Exactly who I am today. Cause majority of this man, yeah, man, long time ago, um, I'm trying to see what's the best way to jump right um, into the story. Cause you know, it's just, I have to have some sort of build up, right? Yeah. I guess my build up would be, I guess, the facial expressions, like, I'm the type of person that reads people, right? And I'm also the type of person, when I was younger, to do something to appease to somebody. But I also had it in the back of my head. It's like, uh, I got to do this to appease to this person. And it's basically like, I ain't going to do nothing that I'm not comfortable with or that ain't already in me, regardless. <clears throat> Period. But um, certain things, when you a kid... When you want to be accepted in the hood or wherever your environment is, you're going to do certain things, especially if you feel like, oh, man, hell yeah, I can do that. And that was me. I'm a competition type dude. Thing that had to do with like some sort of competition because it it's like a competition in the hood. You get talked about or and if you don't and them niggas get paraded if they do. So to us, it's a competition. Who could be the most gangster? And I guess with top, like just I, I just remember just. Looking at him as a kid and me and him making this like weird eye contact over a certain situation. And when I saw him, like he just had that look like, man, I cannot describe it. But how I felt was that like this nigga just seems as though like he just want to use some niggas. Well, you know, be like having niggas as send offs. That's the look like. I, I wish that I could convey the look to y'all so y'all so, could understand exactly like that look like, bro, ah, and I might y'all might have to, to see me because y'all know how I am, man. Y'all know how my mind be working. I stay be trying to push it out, but the memory won't really pop back in, man. So forget that. But he definitely just had a look in which, man, something in my spirit was just like, no, nah, this nigga, he looked like he fixing to send us all up the river. And I'm, I'm, my message is that what I'm saying is because there is a boss top in everybody hood. That one nigga that everybody get, that everybody respect. He's old, that everybody respect him. So most of the shorties around the hood, they want to be seen by him. And it's not so much that I wanted to be seen by him, but I wanted folks to know like, for I'm not no bad. And I can hang and do whatever. You feel me? It's to appease to the next nigga. And because he was one of them niggas that just being honest, oh, he, we young as hell, we all year short, you ain't no, he's just one of them niggas, it's, it's just like, um, like, what is the word that I'm looking for, it's just like a drama queen, it's just like they live, and, and, and that's the most of their fun, at is just watching people play, downplay them lives, you know, and, and, and I got to a point in which I felt, now me thinking back on it, I actually had a, a boss top moment because like I'm a person that I can control somebody with my words and I can be manipulated and I can be conniving. And there's been times where we were sending niggas off and I'm just glad that I grew from that. <clears throat> but so I'm thinking it, it could just be a case of you being an alpha male and being in an environment in which it's just so negatively impacted. But you're going to, you know, still kind of be a hierarchy over in there. Yeah, if y'all get what I'm saying, it's like you're not on the other level where everybody else doing you above. So when niggas do, they really trying to appease to you or they listen to you. That type of vibe. But anyway, yeah, man, to, to, to the point of the message. But what the title says, yeah, man, I got my first gun from top. 
man, it was a long time ago. I can't even go into the details. I just remember it was like a silver. Mom, that it was huge. It was like a silver. Oh no, that wasn't even the first one. I remember the first one because it had a beam on it, and it was like a damn. And I just remember like me being like folded, you know, on the block. You know, we know a little bit of something. We like a beam to get you fed time, or at least that's what we was thinking. And you know, um, but yeah, man, he gave me my first gun, and shit. After I got my first one. Shit, them niggas used to come giving me all the, you feel me? Because I was in the second part. And obviously, like, you know, I don't know if they could, um, you know, have it in their house and with a clear conscience. I don't know, but I did. I was having them in my tote where I had all my clothes. And then it was just, man, I'm telling this story because you're going to be in, a, in your environment, in your hood, and you're going to have a boss top, somebody that is love, somebody that is looked like as a some type of, Leader in the hood. And you going to feel as though you got to do certain things to be seen by this nigga. But I'm here to tell you that you don't want to be seen by somebody like this. You only going to literally hurt who you are, hurt your future, because that energy you put out going to come back, man. And, you know, other words, shorts, folks, that's why Vaughn and Troy not here today. Them two niggas love top. They love top. And look where they at. Look where they got them. And I'm not saying because they loved him. Obviously, us doing what we doing on the block, we gonna get that. We gonna get to that point regardless, man. Sometimes you don't even gotta be literally game back on the block. You know how park where you just be out there walking around, and boom, it happens. But the main point is, man, value your life. Being seen by 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 older men who are somewhere that realistically you don't want to be. Just think about that. When they, when you 17 and you see them, they 23, 24, learn from them, you know, in a different way. I know that the world is pushing for us to love the hood and they glorifying it. So, so many of us are stuck in the mind frame of thinking like this shit is popping. And man, I'm telling you, everything gets expeditiously better once you leave the hood. Everything. I don't gotta name it, y'all know majority of the things that I'm gonna say. Everything that's in the hood. Just think about that. All, everything you can get there. And then when you leave it, way better. You comfortable. Your woman uh, way better. She more loving, more loyal. And I'm not saying that in the hood, you can't find something loyal, but I'm just saying, man, when you broaden your horizons, it could be better. You could still run into a cheater anywhere, but I'm just saying have better options to choose from other than the same repetitive, repetitive attitude that is in the hood. And you get what I'm saying? But man, break free from the minds, from the change that's on our minds that is telling us that we got to appease to these niggas, bro. Let's appeal to ourselves. Let's appeal to God and let's appeal to our families in a way which we going to prove and, uh, and appreciate. You feel me? A lot of us, be, you know, we don't even... If you was to look back at, at your life when you about 30, man, you wouldn't appreciate, you know, if you get locked up when you 30, you, wanna, you ain't going to appreciate the years that before that you're going to wish that you did it differently. Niggas be wishing they can go back in time and be somebody that's younger than them. So why not focus right now, especially if you are young, focus right now so that you ain't got to think like that in the future, man. But if you watch this far, man, I definitely appreciate it. Definitely drop a like for the boy. Definitely drop some comments. And we out.